Gopal is a wicket keeper, excellent wicket keeping skill. Power plays on. These two good batters. Well, up and over, this is out on this occasion. Okay, Shakir okay. and Ravi Singh to opening pair. Come from the Warriors. Building, building. What in one single? Any moments of the grand cricket? The gas wins is keep it running onto the field, off the field, on the field. Back to the cricket now. Great delivery, excellent. This is good captaincy, good field tactics. So, dog ball. So, they lost the heavy yesterday game. So, today they wanted to come in and saw their performances in this particular match. And up against the come from the Warriors, been really a good team. Up and over, no one there, so the field restriction is on. Will it go all the way? And it does. It Sarans ran away so hard, but couldn't able to stop the ball racing towards the boundary. And the first boundary in the over, in the boundary of the inning as well, the first way of three. Ricky Shaki with the boundary, the first over. Quality player, put to the offside, onside. Short again, there's a protection, so straight to the extra cover. Low once, the top balls. Out. There's a man there still looking for one. Could be a close call, bit of a fumble. At the end, the end, a comfortable single for the opponent. So, one more run added into the total. After the one over is done, Cat from the Warriors, none for five. It was with on the attack. Way shown the offside and protection is fighting the gap. Three fielders are chasing on it. Comfortable guy. Two runs are on the cards. Looking for three. Not to settle for two. Seven runs in the voice. The second one in the city. Says now they talk about says capacity of running. It's an athlete. Player definitely to watch out for standing in the third bay area. Short in the offside. Chance of running and shot. Close call, and they still comfortably in to get another single. Eight runs on the board. They needed only wickets. 
Bit of upfield somewhere from the bowlers and the players. So it's a about great delivery about Sorrow. It's been really good at his pace. His variation, he can go with those slow deliveries. Can test the backers from the different perspectives. Really a keen player. Good upfield again. It's a good length of line, so Sorrow is really shaping up now. Putting more pressure, that's where you can get those wickets. Oh, you think it's going to be really important. I feel there, slow delivery, I feel huge, I feel turned down this time completely. Not far removed this occasion. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. He's uh, the variation of the slow deliveries. Uh, it's, it's completely. Reese Johnson this time for the backers, so that's why he's so crucial. He got pace as well, he got those, those small deliveries where he can get the backers out on many occasions. Brilliant bowling, excellent bowling display so far. End of the two overs, the Captain the Warriors, eight for nine. Very sharp behind the wicket score bar. As we know, his wicket keeping skills tactically so good. Can dive on his left and right, but won't slip as well. One of the gully, one of the points, one of the cover, one extra cover. So one we know, they got very power back offside field. Anything over than that, they'll swear they can't do it inside here. Dennis back on his second over, next side, protection there, so I think the man already bit of a fumble down there. Milan? Yes, Milan? 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 That's a power back offside. They've got five fields in the offside, so that's where he's now targeting. Another dog ball to Dinesh, uh, been really good. Captain himself, leading from the front. Very keen player to watch out for. With this great batting technique, and he's too good in the bowling as well. But go cut, but misses out on this occasion. Good bowling, good line, good variation. Get his complete rhythm at the moment. The wickets can do a bit of a motivation for the team as well. Nine on the boards where Ricky Saki is playing at nine, so his team is playing as an open as they can get. Lovely shot, there is a protection into the covers. Extra cover with the collects and one more under the total. Uh, as we talk about Robbie seeing his correct stats from the last 13 games, uh, 44 runs, not that much uh, runs, but he has that capacity to make it count. Great strike rate of 129. Nice defense, solid in rock and defense this time. We're talking about Ricky Sanke, definitely a player to watch out for 478 runs, with his 82 in the highest score. Down the track, up in the air, will this be the first maximum? Oh, well, the outfield has not been really great, so a couple of runs, looking for three. It's a great shot, pleasing the nice. But 
because the arm cream is so elevating works really high, driven nicely, but didn't go the battery in this case. It's not going to run, so it's going to go to ski building. 12 runs. You know what's okay, Arabic? What a pin over sake? Oh, the three holes is completed after three overs. Come from the Warriors 29. The fourth over is on the card. Short, nice. Oh, should have been another wicket. It's straight on the hands, but it's business, but save the boundary of the uh, other side as well. But the catches win the matches when they need to be. Very effective. That's a lifeline early on for the batter. Solid runs for the Barrys, a first over, not for three. Give it a little bit of room, looking for that close line, chance of run out very clean. The running between the wickets is really key. And they're running really hard at the moment. But this is the ground where runs are very hard to come by. By the day for rest, it will be out to the more more tighter and more quicker. Yes, I mean, I really a good shot of some aid. Not to buy it, this one will be outside, this is out of this occasion. So they're not giving that much room now for the batters. They know the captain, the Warriors, batters, everyone are very good when they got the room. Anything outside the off, so they will punish as the power plays only two fingers are outside the 30 yard circle. The, the time where you can score more runs. Try to go for stock sweep, where it's a great, a great delivery from Sauron Van Sondari. And to be really good, his slow delivery are so effective. And he always tries for the batters. We don't mind for go for runs, but we get something important at the moment. Really, this time his own cause, and no runs, another job delivery. A lot of exciting players in the Indian cricket club as well. Mr. Pusvaraj Joshi, the magnificent performance in the yesterday game. They were six or seven down for a 30 yard, 40 yard run from where he has put his team up to the 100 runs. Excellent display of batting. And he's a doctor himself, so a lot of things I still love to watch out for. Nice shot, straight to where the point, chance of run out. Long throw, and they getting one more run now here on. It's excellent feeling, one more run now, keep it in fumble as it feel. They need to be very careful on that occasion, because they've been so good so far, onto the field, not giving extra run to the batters. But the building is the main point where you need to be very sharp. Vicky is playing at 12, whereas Robbie Singh playing at 4 of 13 deliveries. 16 runs on the board, no wicket loss, a little bit change in the field. They're putting everything up, so third man just come up in a ring now. Says, hitting point back a little bit. Oh, a feeling there, and it looks like the early advantage, only wickets on for Yeti Cricket Club. And that's what the credit goes, been really good, putting more question pressure, and they got the first success. A brilliant catch behind the stun by Gopal, and a brilliant bowling, excellent display, one wicket down. Everything is going so good for Yeti Cricket Club at the moment. 
Look out for the Warriors. A lot of patience onto the cards. So they got definitely got us some quality players. Got Sula Karan right in the middle. Great striker of a cricket ball, as we mentioned about Sula Kondal, has been really good uh, in last couple of TMC Super Six Cup. He was the highest six hitter as well, so definitely a candidate to watch out for his high. Six hitting capacity, so what he can do for his team if this today, they have to wait and see at the moment. He's up against great delivery, excellent length and line from Rohit. Early and only wicket for him as well. Brilliant display of bowling, and it's all good tactics, good captaincy of Dinesh. Putting the fielders into the right position. Got go cut, so they'll just come in, feeling a little bit of pressure at the moment. Know how to score runs. We have done it the various times. Short up, no man, third man, Swiss gone up, so ball is traveling to the boundary for four. As we already mentioned, the Sundar Kondal is a very, very effective player. That was nicely timed. Just to elegance on that occasion. So welcome boundary, the scoreboard now moves to 20 runs with a loss of one wicket. And a welcome boundary for him as well. So he's on four of three. Sundar Kondal and Ravi Singh and the more than four of 13 deliveries. Nicely done. Over the, the third man, they call the third man, says up in the ring. I'm taking advantage of the field as well, so a bit of restriction. Part to call his favorite shots. They're all really good at offside, cut and pull, um, and those four of his covers. With really good song with Sundar Kondo. Not tall in height, but as a really a quality player. Seven such intended. Nice defense, solid in rock and defense. Uppercut as well. And we just seen the example of what we've just done against the rocket with the very first ball. Too good in the uppercut, so four. So five overs done after five overs, come from the Warriors winning the toss, batting first 20 runs with a loss of one wicket. Defense, that's a man at point, so more runs on that occasion. Chance of one out. Chance of 
support in the leg side, so that's a protection, looking for two run, running between the wickets been really good. So, so it's comfortable with the one. In the next time, grab the first extra that will help this go about keep moving. What are you I don't know if you can put it Catch up in the air, nice card that one says catch is, is Rosson is changing the ball, so the bottom man, it's a couple of runs set it into the total. We're talking about the outfield is so small. Not lightning outfield, so the batters need to hit very handy to get the fours on the ground shot. Sean, up in the air, will this be the catching practice? <laughs> it's, uh, it's been boundary, so no chance the player to get the ball onto the leg side. So, welcome boundary for the captain the Warriors. The Robbie Sings getting a ball. Thirty runs on the board after winning the toss, landing first. Shot with the ice in time, but there is a protect not such a chance of run out there. And the ends in comfortably in. I'd like to thank you all the sponsors of starting up our title sponsors, Grace International Education. As you can see, the uh, umbrella of the Grace International Education, where a lot of people are sitting over there and enjoying the match. Lovely delivery, great pace, excellent length and line, not giving that much movement, not giving that much room. To the back of the three arms. 
continuing on the policies, the corporate bank retail migration, moonlighting these groceries, CHD college, the Chuk, Walla Beach Education, AWTI, Hospitality Partner, Taste of Nepal, Umani Burger, Event Partner, Chili's. Age has been wide of the greedy keeper, so I'm going to ask for one more run in the telly. Langali Restaurant, Buddha Grocery, Owen Partner, Trophy Cabinet, First Aid Partner, Penny Royal College, Photography Partner, DMS Production, Rebounds for Rebounds for Real Photography, Sumer and Photography, Media Partner, KBC Cover, AP1 Television, Exotic Lane, Argument TV, Sangin Samman, Nepali News, Social Partner, Tamil Shabans, Nepali Society of North and Tasmania, Nepali Society of Tasmania, NRN, NTSA, Nepali Samaj, NPM, FIMYE, and Pakistani Australian Council of Thank you for all of you being sponsors and helpful throughout the tournament. We are in the fourth game of the current week. Sonic in defense, huge appeal, huge appeal from the bowler himself. It looks like there was a bit of a bat of it. Lovely sun sign, so no chance of any rain as you talking about the weather, all the players are enjoying. And the expectations as well, a lot of crowds, as we can see on my right. And Milan's very busy with the stats and everything. Thank you, Milan Bowden, for continued support on the scoring list as well. And without Milan, it would have been really hard to get everything get going. Thank you for Peter Johnson, Exalted Lane, for providing all the live telecasts. Uh, to the YouTube channel. So if you go to YouTube, type in Exotic Lane, and you will see all the live telecasts showing these two fellows over here doing a fantastic job, um, and we're hoping the same job uh, throughout the tournament. Great delivery, excellent, a bit of our bill. Says now, and we'll talk about says now, and as we did talk about Rubes and his pitch. Uh, says is none other than as well, so he got 148 150 click. We can't get the ball moving everywhere. Look at the pain, excellent. I can feel that pain from here on. On the length, on the body, not giving that much room to the batters to free the arms. It says is continuing on his pace. I did a really hard work over the last couple of years. Short this time, doesn't connect it well, so still a single, so a big wicket area. It's only two players out there in the, the left side area. Yeah, talk about the Seth Narayan and his fitness. Been really good working on his fitness uh, in a couple of years. Credit to him as well. So the way he is shown up, a very key player for the Yeti Cricket Club. Well, soon there is a strike there. Shot, lovely shot, just going to be a single. They're looking for two, though. Long on's very wide. Kenny pulls it up. He did, but it's going to be two run. Running between the wickets uh, is really good between these two batters. As we mentioned already about the Sundar and his batting capacity, the main form. It's not only playing T20 cricket, playing great cricket as well, the PT Oliver's scoring bulk of runs over there. Short and the innovative, there's a man in point catching practice. Still got a single, so that's what we can see from Sundar 
I can create those uh, shorts. And then in fact, during the show, where everyone has been seen on the freaking booth. Nice, there's that builder. Find the gap between the two players in the young side. So, we're going to be a single one in the pony, one in the cover. They got one in the deep cover, one in the logo, one in deep extra cover. After the end of eight over, come from the Warriors at 25 per one to one minute. Two of those to go, so as we've seen in the last game, uh, LMC can change very well uh, after that 40 overs, still that point the game was hang on there. Anybody's game, but the way they scored the run, the eighth game they're showing. Sean, that's a huge up in the air. Gopal is underneath it, Bully takes it, and he did. What a fantastic grab that was. He said his call is mine and he did well. And I welcome Wicked for Yeti Cricket Club. The dangerous man. Robbie Singh out on 14. He played very well till this point, but that's a loss of second wicket. I'm not sure that was really giving himself a little bit of room outside the obstacle and bangs it playing that brilliant boundary from Sundar Kondel. As we all know, he's a very good player of the fast bowler or even of the spinner. Body movement, play under the front foot, can go ramps on as well. Can manufacture short himself. Excellent player from the Kafka Warriors. Very vital. Then this will be the key wicket for Yeti Cricket Club if they can get him. Well, 
Service going to be single looking for her second hustling hard chance to run out at the other end, striker end, so it's comfortable in. Full toss and has been hammered down the left side. Will it go all the way? Yes, it is. What a classical shot. Really pleasing on eyes. And that's where they need to be very careful of giving too much room for this batter. Because anything outside the off or any full toss, it will tight as a bread and butter. 50 off for the team. So there are a couple of warriors are two for 50. Was he more than clear? What a shot that was. He got seven of two deliveries, where Sundar Tondo is batting on 16 of 13 deliveries. The vice president of TNCA, he's on there in the middle. Chance, nice building at the point. So, excellent display of building as a dot ball. And that's why they need to be very good at win. Nine over stone after the end of nine over. The Carpentry Warriors winning the toss, decided to bat first. Are two for 50. Says Lauren on his second over now. Two wickets has been taken by Rohit Bushnet, so both the wickets he took in the very first ball of his spells. So he's a contender for the highest wicket taker. Full toss this time again, so definitely a single looking for quick two. A bit of a trouble for the man of the mid wicket area. Another two collected, so two more runs on the board. Nicely divided to the third man. There's a fielder there. And there's a request for the razor number of the car E22RY. So Kia car. So anyone who is the owner of this one, can we, uh, can you please move the car away from the side screen, please? Uh, razor number E22RY. Anyone's car is a request to move the car over there. Is a bit of a problem for the batters over there, so it's a humble request. The owner of the Rego E22RY Kia. My shot really driven down the on the, the offside, so there's going to be another single looking for two. Really good running between the wickets. Both have been athlete. It looks like they've been part of the relay race, marathon and everything, running hard. to go for another big shot offside drive that's where he's so good at with even if you give a little bit of room outside of the all-star he will absolutely nail it it's a quality better you can't afford to give that much room for sundar kondo but says on the other end is too good for this variation 
why I'd give it this time. Maybe just five days, five days for the other stuff. Too wide, so one more extra. Two for 57 at the moment, the Carpenter Warriors. Full toss, hammer down, there was no one there, was going to pull it off. It looks like he did very well there. Two runs already taken, looking for third. Very, very good save. Excellent save by Saurabh Raz Bhandari. That's the end of the 10 over. So after 10 over, Captain the Warriors are... Two for 59. So scoring 5.9 run per over. And if they have to put a respectable total, they need to fire a bit more from here on. Because last inning, what we've seen, 160 has been changed well. So looking at things on this, but they need to go a bit of an anti <laughs> We, I don't know whose car is this, who's in the order, it's a bit of a test to put a Kia car E22RY from the side screen, please. Amrit Batrai, please move your car, mate. Amrit Batrai, once again, Amrit Batrai, please move your car. As we just heard from the official confirmation, that's caused the Nepalese flag. So it's probably our car somewhere. I don't know whose car is it. It's a humble request to move the car, so it will make it easy for the players. Oh. 
Welcome back after the break. Doctor covering the action straight this time. The early on, the first runs running between the wickets, very good. They're chasing for one more. We're confident with the two. Pusparaj Joshi himself onto the action now. Swore on left hand. So what the batting he can do today. Shot again, so need to be very effective on the left side. It's going to be another single run. Very effective, very economical. Can challenge the batsman uh, from different ways. Mr. Pusparaj Joshi, the doctor himself. Up in the air, there's going to be another single the ball there, so we can collect the ball, so they single headed into the total. Now Sundar on the strike now. Full toss, up in the air, will this be a chance? Oh, what a grab that is, running, it's always a difficult to take, and a brilliant skill of catching. And they are pumped up now, as you can see in the field, the motivation, a different uh, accent we can see here from the teams. And that is a big wicket they got, it's a big fish. What's here? The man himself has been dismissed. He must be feeling very... Unhappy because the way he played well, but connected well, it was just about a good catch. And the long on running catches on with a hundred to take by, and that's an excellent run. Nice catch by Vines himself, the captain. He must be feeling so good at the moment, the way the boys are playing. The catching being really good. And uh, it's a completely different game when they play yesterday and compared to today. And uh, Pusparad Josi on the action, wicket straight away. <laughs> it's a wicket already in his kitty. Offside fields, so uh, a chance of running out there. It's going to be a tight if you want a close call. So one run sent it into the total. So they took three wickets. Sixty-four runs in the balls, a loss of three wickets. Lovely bowling, excellent bowling. That finishes the over. Eleven overs been completed. 
After the Warriors are three for 64 at the moment. There's a nine overs to go. Shundar Kandal is playing on 25 or 21 deliveries, 1 4 and 1 6. And there was a device for the 1 of 1. Falling figures, Saurad Raz Bandari, very economical in his three over, had just given 11 runs. Hasn't taken the wicket yet, but very economical, putting the pressure with his variation, with his slow arm bowling, the slower deliveries. Always a tactic, so a bit of a change in field. More cover on the offside. Excellent. Really good captains here at the moment, as you can see, all the pumped up the players. Putting more pressure runs are very hard to come by at the moment. They just took the wicket, taking the wicket on the regular intervals. Uh, there's a field there, there's a big appeal. Turned down this time by the Empire, but they still got a single leg before signal. So one more extra added into the total runs. They've gone off to 65. Oh, what a bounce delivery on occasion this time, testing the batter. That's an excellent display of bowling. We know that of what he can do with his slow ball. He's got pace as well. Can click 140, 142. And he's showing a great, great display of bowling today. He's 3.3 overs, 11 runs for no wicket. So delivery straight away the point. Chance of Ronard need to be very hurry up. Oh, it's a good feeling. Excellent feeling. They still got a single, but credit to this man. Here at points, a beautiful feeling. Putting more pressure, not giving any room at all. Boundaries are very hard to come by. Straight. There is a protection on the long arm, so it's going to be another single. Great work spell of bowling from Sarad Raz Bandari. Excellent display. Just showing the team, hang on, I'm here. I'll step up. And he did well step up today when the team really needed him. That's going to be up in the air. Another catch. Will this be taken? Oh, been dropped. Chance of extra run as well. Looking for the score. Well, it would have been a sensational catch if he was taken. Been dropped. It would have been a great, great catch. And a nice turn. Turning catch as well. But that's been dropped. And that's the area where they need to be because. Even yesterday, the Yeti Cricket Club dropped too many catches. They know that they, the catcher is going to win the matches, so you need to be very effective on the field when it comes to catching those catches. Well, now that's the end of the over. Over number 12 is done. After 12 overs, cut from the Warriors. 69 for three. Usparad Chosi in his second over and already it's going to be a single 
bands on the left side covering the band with. So it's the right jersey, the doctor himself in the middle. So he's been very economical in this last over as well. Giving himself a room, Schwab that one's as a field and as a protection to the long off. So there'll be only a single run. It's a nice start for just the one. Looking for extra chance of run out. Got one, been absolutely missing this occasion. What a golden chance. He, even he didn't expect that the ball going to be there. He did well though, but misses to hit the wicket completely. So two runs headed into the total. Oops, that's a great one. Great delivery for Sparad Josie. Very hard to hit. His length and variation. The slow arm, left arm bowling. Up in the air. Will this be the chance? Will this be the chance? Oh, looks like it's been put down again. You cannot, you cannot drop the catch. Not a man you want to drop. The two cats has been dropped out in the two consecutive overs. So that's definitely going to hurt them. Up in the air again. Will this be another chance? Oh, over one more. And that's going to be for four. That will be the third instance the ball was gone up in the air. But this time it was safe just over the hand of the long fielder, and that's four. So welcome, Henry. Before we help the scoreboard, that was to 78 with a loss of three wicket. And Sundar Kanda is playing brilliantly here, handing off on 36 of 28 deliveries, two fours, one six. And Dives Ponta, uh, three runs of five deliveries. The partnership between these two now 15 runs. 14 runs been given so far by Pusparaj right? Jones. He would have been taking a couple more wicket, but unfortunately the catch has been dropped down, so he must be feeling about that. A bit of a chit chat, bit of a. Up in the air this time. Will it go all the way? And that's going to be the maximum. What a great hit. Six over, deep extra cover. It's always a pleasing shot to an eyes. And that's a great shot. Eighty-four runs with a six, a brilliantly hit. But that six was just going over eighty-three meters, ladies and gentlemen. Eighty-three meters six. Thirteen overs been completed. Now we got a new bowler, Umar Mustaf. And so chipped onto the leg side, so looking for twos. Well, would be a close call. Just settling the one. Rotation of a strike is always important in the T20 cricket. Don't want to take too many dot balls. Pressure build build up. And the way the Sundar is playing, they're trilling the everyone's mind here. Caught nicely, guys. So there will be a bit of a practice. We're looking for two. You need to be very sharp at the field. You have to save runs wherever you can. But Sundar, with his uh, the batting technique, the masterclass, the brilliant performance. Scoreboard now moves to 87. Let's define gaps, looking for gap, easy runs, simulated. So there is playing on 45 or 31 to make race.
Nice through the pens while still looking for runs. There's a gap between the two fielders. So one more run set it into the total. Sundar is playing on 45. He's five shot of his half century. He has been put down though. That's probably going to cost the Yeti Cricket Club later on. Out again, that's the area where he is scoring a lot of runs. Tied down to the third very area where he scored like 25% of runs. Oh, what a shot that's been a bit innovative lovely shot this gone off a lovely what a cracking shot that one no one doesn't have any clue on the play of the offside lovely shot he's on 49 now with the help of that four One shot, 49 at the moment. One more runs to get his 50. He's playing on 49, so one yes, run's needed. After the end of 14 overs, the Kathmandu Warriors are 93 for. Ninety-three for three. Dinesh Kesi is two overs, none for nine. On to the attack now. The captain he knows how to come back. He knows how to break the partnership, and this is the time now. Fourteen overs, ninety-three runs. Down the leg side, wide signal by the umpire. Another extra added. Dimesh Pant is playing on five of seven deliveries, where Sundar Kanda is playing on forty-nine of thirty-three deliveries. Right, but straight to the bowler, so no chance of any run. So, a dot ball. It's a good start after that wide delivery. Always important with a couple of deliveries, you go under the target, don't give any boundaries. Players in the bottom are still waiting. Down the leg again, missing his length. Try to bomb Yorker delivery, just missing the length completely here, Dinesh. Shundar is still on one strike range, waiting his round to get his 50. He's on 49, not out. This time he hits it. There is a man, the two fielders are chasing the ball. One runs they already taken, they're looking for two, and they comfortably in and get those two runs. It's a beautiful batting here, not only relying on the big boundaries, they're taking the runs wherever they can, they're converting one into twos, and that's a problem going to be for Yeti Cricket Club in the field. They need to be very sad. They don't want you to give too many extras. Up in the air, it's a snow one they there leading it. Chance of run out, will he get there? Oh, that was a chance though. That was a chance. He'd have been very sharp at field. Bit of a fumble between the two, misunderstanding completely this time. We thought that was a run, but Shundar said that's probably a risky run, so he's on 49 anyway at the moment. <laughs> Short balls are definitely going to help the pressure building up. Short, there's a man there. Can he get there? Well, he did well, though, to save the runs. Excellent fielding down the long run area, so it's going to be a one run. 
Now Sumner on strike, batting on 49. One sort of his half century. That's wet. Have to see how he's going to get that 50. Slow delivery this time. It's completely missed time. Try to get that same shot where he scored bulk of the runs into the offside. It's very good to guide the ball down here into the um, third man area where he scored bulk of his runs. It's close. Chance of running. No good. I'll have to throw very hard. Oh. It's straight to him. So it's not intentionally that he hit. It's all... Unfortunately, it's, it's happened in the game of cricket. We tried to get this done. And that brings... Brings a 50 for Sundar Kandel. He was trying to get that 50 with the boundary, but he'll take that run. So dugouts are waiting for the 50. I have not seen any of those claps when the batters got the 50. Yeah, I can hear some sort of claps. Not much excitement after that getting 50 on the dugout. So well played Sundar Kondal for his 50. Nicely guided, the protection, they will get it. Every time they're testing, whoever feel at the point, need to be very accurate. They're still stealing the single over there. Hundred ups as well for the team score, not the individual score though. Three for hundred. Oh, nicely fine gap now. Will be a test to the chase. Will he going to chase that ball? Two runs comfortably taken, and he will be ended up in a two. Nicely flick. No one there. To the leg side. Just to give a leg glance. There's a square leg there running very hard. They gotta take only single in this occasion. So how the scoreboard just keep moving up to 103 runs. Sundar has got a 59, he's been very fresh, hitting the ball very hard. That was a very, very close. The always try is we know that the bulk of the runs been scored in this area, and he always tried to go for uppercut as well, so very good. Must be get inspired from Sachin Tendulkar with those uppercuts. No delivery up in the air, fell saw a chance of run out very quick. Just about another single. So single and doubles, probably that not gonna hurt too much. But yet the cricket club they inching towards the business hours, the dog out. Pulled but pulled away. There's a man in the leg side. Did me we can collect the ball, so you see we've got to be able to single runs headed into the total. End of the over. So over the After the end of the 16 overs, Kaku the Warriors are three for 105 runs. <laughs>
te la habrá. Sí, bueno, no se entiende. No tiene nada que ver. No tiene nada que ver. Go, Katmandu, go, EP. 106 run on the board, the loss of three wicket. One guy down. It's all over and all the way for four no chance for the slip cordons. That's a welcome boundary. Sundar is an absolute fire. Will he get a hundred here? It's nothing that he can't do with his betting masterclass. Three for hundred and ten is the score at the moment. Rohit Basnet in his third over, he already grabbed two wickets. He's on the fourth over, the last over for him. Already a contender for the highest wicket taker as well. That one twenty dollar gift cards from the Moonlight Grocery, one of the greatest grocery shops in the whole Southeast Asian Pacific in Hobart. Full toss this time. Will this be the catching? Well, full sort of the field around the deep. It's going to be another single run. Three for 111 scoreboard. Oh, it's, and it's been given. That's the third wicket for Rohit now. He's definitely a contender for the highest wicket taker. And that's a welcome wicket. He was looking dangerous to scoring runs. And that will put the break on the scoring rate as well. Because he was well set. And uh, Wells is a different uh, unit. What we have seen yesterday, the Yeti Cricket Club have been very sloppy yesterday, but today have been really good taking wickets, pinpoint accurate. They're coming back nicely here. And three wickets for Rohit Pasnad as well is throwing some soil here in the middle of the long system. Thrilling everyone, he's fell three point four overs. But he gave both 31 runs, but three wickets, always important. Probably he will be the contender of the highest wicket taker. $25 gift card from the Moonlight Grocery in Hobart. And Mr. Toy Rasbatry should be here somewhere. We will be providing chip. There is a man there, so they're looking for two. Will they settle for one? Yep, they're not interested together. Another one just got a wicked loss. So four for 112 at the moment. 16.5 overs. Sudhi Pandey, the new batter. They're on strike now. Down the leg side, wide given. So one more extra is up to the board. The scoreboard is keep moving. 113 now. The loss of four wickets. And after this, there's a three more overs where they can score more now. 150 is the one they're looking at the moment. But for that one, they need to score runs, boundaries. Nice defensive technique of the pen. Oh, a bit of a fumble there, so you're gonna allow the batters to get a one run. Point the cover area will be very need to be very sharp to save runs. But this time we're just keeping a single away. So 17 overs been done, up to 17 overs. It's nice. The cut from the Warriors are. Four for 114. So, the staff is on the bowling now. 
Uber will start this two overs, start the 15 run. Try to go for two this time, but this is completely. So it's a short ball to start with. It's a great variation. He is very good at length and lines. It's Yorker in swing and deliveries. Try to go aerial, try to hit hard onto the offside ways and has not been able to connect well in a few deliveries. Try to get it. A bit of a chit chat now into the middle with the two batters. Now, this time he able to connect. There is a man there at the deep. Can he collect? Good fielding, fumble a little bit. Got first throw balls. They need to be very soft so that the gain of two runs being scored. Talk about the Pusparad Josie with his, his great fielding capability. He can take any catches, hardly drops. Sundar is playing on 60. Sean, look at that! Bit of an innovation up in the air, falls out of the doctor again, unfortunately. Well, he's trying really hard. Good athleticism. Hit the wicket as well from there on. How you can do that, doctor? Real inspiration. Uh, Pusparad Chaucey, to be honest. He's always never give up anything. 118 runs on the board, so now they're putting Puspera Josi out of the tip and putting into the extra cover area. Would have needed a time to take that and pull this time. There is a square like sweeper there. Can sweeper get there to catch it? Well dived though. Have to wait for Empire Signal as a boundary. It did very well down to the sweep area, but still going to get a four. Welcome, Boundary, for a couple of the Warriors. And the score now move on 122. And this man, the Sundar Gondel, is playing on 66 of 46 deliveries. We'll toss again, but this time misses completely onto the offside. Try to get the guide to the third man area where he is going. 25% of the Sundar Kandel run has come down to the third man area and there between the point as well. So that good a player he is. Dinesh in his last over, captain himself onto the attack. Oh, pull nicely, pull. Will this be taken? Just falls up. Will he going to stop the boundary? They didn't, unfortunately. That's four. That's a first four. This over and starting the over, not good. That's what the Dinesh is expecting. So this time the boundary has been hit by Sudip Pandey. Five of two deliveries, strike rate of 250, my goodness. Can be a destructive player down the end. Goes again this time, there is a protection chance of around. Can he hit the stump over there? Safely in, so one more run added. Well, there are there were a few moments where they can take some catches, hit the stumps. They've been really missed on the particularly on the offside reason. Try to go a bit of a you know, sweep shots, misses out. Yeah. 
floor delivery up in the air. Will this be taken? Paul Sorf for sure. Well, fumble again. Couple of runs they're looking for. <laughs> she has, was the builder there, so he must have been thinking, putting a dive on the first attempt. And then he think maybe just save a couple of runs will do the team. Hundred and twenty nine drawn on the board. Shot, lovely shot, super there, but he can he get there? Well this looks like it's gonna be a four runs. Lovely shot, just a flick of the risk. And Sundar is showing some magic here in the middle of Launceston. 72 not out. What an inning. That's defining inning. Can be later on. He have been dropped for the occasion. He just cast in later on. Didn't turn. Look back. Sure, look at that. Bit of aggression there. There's a man there into the deep. And he gets there. Well, he did well. Well, this time, well, just about all the team. And they lost the, the number of times they did two. 19 overs been completed. 134 runs on the board. They lost a couple of wickets. And we have one more over remaining. How many runs that the Captain the Warriors gonna get from here on with the six legal deliveries? Bit of a chit chat is happening in the middle now. So Sundar is on strike anyway. He's on 72. Swings and swings and miss. We're still going to look for by runs now. Running again, no. Yes, no combination. Why is. 135 now, the loss of four wickets. Shot up in the air. Can this be a chance only for the expectators? No, it sails over the long on reason for maximum. And now that six has gone over 93 meters, ladies and gentlemen, 93 meters. That's the six they needed to get that momentum onto the run red as well. The scoring it looks like the ball has been lost. No, it's on the Mustafa's head. Goes again, swings again, misses again this time. It was a lovely shot, shot of the inning side pass, lovely timing. With that six, the scoreboard now moves to 141. Can they reach 150? The last inning there, the long system team chased 106 40. Short pull, but there's the protection there, looking for two. Just only settle for single. Hundred and forty-two. Oh, Boom! eye this time misses completely. Try to go for uppercut and over the extra cover and the, the point area misses out completely. But what an inning! What an inning that was from Sundar Kandil. Well, the, the, at the end of the last ball.
So the innings comes to an end, 140.
Super Mustafa and Dinesh Kesi. Umar Bustan talked about his banking capacity, his uh, left hander, very aggressive player. Dinesh Kesi today, his uh, open is in. A classical player normally come down to number three, but today he is a responsibility in his hands. So let's wait and see what he can do for his team. Excellent knock. Short, but there's a fielder. Oh, it's going to be chasing the race. It's going to be a four. Yes, it is. That's it, man. There's a power play. Boundary to start. First over, six runs on the board, and Umar already off and running. So he can be a dangerous player. He can score runs everywhere. Definitely a player to watch out for. Chasing 143, just a three more runs than what pitch target set up for us. to the offside, it's going to be another single. Seven runs on the board, that brings Dinesh on strike now. Captains, the magnificent season. A lot of bulk of runs been scored. Lovely shot to end up the over number first. One over's gone. Seven runs on the board, seven to one. I'm 
Was he coming on the attack now? Was he? He just got. <gasps> no. Right, nine runs on the board. Thank you very much, little fella. Did the excellent commentator. Probably a future that I'm looking in the commentary section. Thank you very much as well. His name is Dion Panther. Thank you very much, for Dion. So we're looking forward to see you in the next game. So. Now, coming back to the cricket, two overs been done. Ten runs scored without any loss, any wicket. Dinesh Case is still there. Quality player. Sabina's on the bowling. Just the shot there, the offside. It's going to be another single. Nice little partnership going up. So 11 runs already been scored, chasing 143. Nice, lovely weather. Good sunshine, no any overcast condition. No wind as well, no chance of any rain. So it's going to be uh, exceptional weather for the cricket. Nicely defended this time by Dinesh Kesi. The captain himself promoted himself up in the order. Normally cut down to three, but in the process, I would like to thank you all the sponsors, starting with the title sponsors. The title sponsor, Grace International Education, where you can see a big umbrella there where players are sitting, having fun. 
Corporate Partners in Tech Migration, Moonlight Nepalese Grocery, CAC College, The Choke, Walla Beach Education, AWTI, our Hospitality Department, Test of Nepal, Omar Burger, National Chief this time to next side, Square Lake going to be uh, having a bit of fun practice on there, running hard, just going to be another single. But Dinesh playing sensibly, he knows that's a great batter, he knows how important his wickets will be today. Continuing on the sponsors, uh, even partner, Chili's Capital Educational Consultancy, Lang Valley Restaurant, Buddha Grocery, our award partner, Tropic Cabinet, Shot, lovely shot, man there, when he gets there. Well, it's hard to start the ball. I think he did well over there, have to wait for Empire Signal. Did well though, so a couple of runs headed into the total. Nice shot on the deep mid wicket area. Oh, lovely cheeky this time, so that's hard to stop by. That's a welcome for lovely bat swing. And in this occasion, more than the bat swing, it's just about the kindliest he shot in the batting. Bit of a cheeky shot. That's for four. Welcome boundary. The runs are scoring 18 runs at the moment without the loss of any wicket. Continue on the sponsors, the photographic partner. PMS Production, Rewards Photography, Schumann Photography, Media Partner, KBC Cover, AP World Television, Exotic Lane, Argonaut TV, Sambit Sambad, Nepali News, Social Partner, Kongu Samaz, Nepali Society of Northern Tasmania, Nepali, Samaz, Nepali Society of Tasmania, NFNA, NTSA, Nepali Samaz, NBA, FINYE, the shot chipped over the mid picket area. So a couple of runs for sure. He's looking and definitely on cards. So the three fielders are chasing the ball. So two runs added into the total. The scoreboard now moves to 20 runs on the board. Shot for the covers. It's going to be a risky run. Everybody nice, well fielded. One more run set of the total. If you talk about the first inning, runs from Sundar Kandel, magnificent inning. Very well, John's inning that run. Controlled on the one end. It's a lovely batting display shown by. Nicely played this time. So slow run score. Twenty one runs on the board. Down in loss of any wickets. A good start at the Yeti Cricket Club. Defense technique this time, no run scores. Another dot delivery, the dot of dot delivery is the pressure to the batters. So they're looking to free the arms. Rotation of the strike is very important. The early, looking for the early wickets here, the Carpenter Warriors team. Anything magic in the field? Side wide signal by the empire, so one of four extra run in the total. The total now is to be 22 runs without the loss of any wicket. So remember, this is the power place, so only two players are allowed in a 30 yard circle. The 
It's the cheeky this time, guiding to the leg side. It's going to be another single side. Bulk of the runs have tried to score in this area, the leg side. So one more run set into the total. Now moves to 23. Remember, they are chasing 143. So it's a decent start for the Yeti Cricket Club. On to the fourth over running. Nice short, but it's for no run. So end of the over number four, the score is 23 for none. Stopping still continuing. Umar is on the batting at the moment. He's been so effective, having a fantastic 2023. And the team definitely need him to step up. Bit of a change in field. They're putting more players into the offsides. Slip comes in, so one slip, two slips. Straight to him, so no runs scored on this particular delivery. So Todd Paul to start the fifth over. It's not a huge target, not a small target anywhere as well. So you will have a thrilling context of these 20 overs. Full toss, hammered this time into the leg side. So that is a protection, so he is going to be covering off. So one more run is headed into the total with that fantastic shot. Twenty-four runs on the board. So Dinesh Keshi on strike now. Lovely tickle find. There is a protection. They put the field according to the plan, but still getting singles. It's so building the partnership. They know that they have a big hitter is coming up, but they can cash in later on. So partnership is very important, and they are really doing a good job here. So boundaries will become. It's all about building the partnership where they failed to appeal in the last game. Short, lovely, should be a single. So singles are coming, not much damage. 26 run on the board. Finish on the strike, what he can do with this delivery now. So Henry Blair, captain himself, promoted himself up in the order. Looking for runs, they're getting runs in every ball. Chance of running a good throw though, but not accurate on stump. So another single added into the total. Runs are just coming at the moment in ones and twos. Down the leg side, wide, two wide. Good Short, lovely short, huge short, that one. 
nail that over the leg side. Fantastic hit. And that's a strike that they really needed up. And there's a beautiful shot to see from the crowds as well. 34 runs on the board. Nice partnership. Five overs completed. One more over remaining into the power play where they can get more runs. So the two players are allowed outside the 30 yard circle. And uh, chasing nicely up to here point this point. So 34 runs. So the cut on the Warriors, they need to strike. They need to strike early on. Sudhi Pandey is on the attack now. Up against Dinesh Keshi. So definitely a battle to watch out for this one. Dinesh is very good at batting, whereas Sudhi has been very fine in the bowling as well. It's been a magnificent 2023. Bulk of the wickets been taken in the last year. Down the leg, wide to start with, not a great start. Dinesh, such a fine player on the leg side. His flick shot, particularly, are where absolutely eye catching. One of the best puller and a hooker flick player in the modern day cricket. The shot is so amazing in eyes. Good fielding, though. Excellent. It's always hard to take from where the ball comes straight away from the batter's head. 35 rods on the board. This is, to remember, this is the last over of the power play. Short. That's a short that we're talking about. The flake one. Couple of runs for sure. Nice build it up. Excellent uh, tactic to put a field over there. Short fine leg. They can't put too many fielders down there. So a couple of runs for Dinesh Kessie's account. 37 runs. He's batting on 8 of 10 deliveries at the moment. Short pulled ahead. Will he get there the four? And a lovely, lovely shot. That's a shot we're talking about. How good the Dinesh is in any of the short fish delivery. He will absolutely pull it. One of the best puller and a hooker up a cricket ball, and he showed a perfect example on this occasion. So boundary held, 41 runs. His strike rate has gone up as well. Whereas Umar's batting on 24 of 22. Short again this time, skill testing again, but no interested on this occasion. So very tight to the breed. One runs onto the board. Sudhi Panda is very good. He can be a wicket taker. Right the guide, so the offside, two fielders are juggling here and there. So he's still getting a single for the battle. So one more run set it. 42 runs on the board. You are on the sixth over, so last ball of the power play. Let's see how Umar can finish things on the power play here, whereas the Sudips looking to strike early on, so they're looking for breakthroughs. Can he provide the breakthrough here? It's gone, that will end of the over. Not movement that was for on that occasion, so that will end of the first power play. Power play is done, 42 for none after six overs. They needed another 101 runs to win in 14 overs, and having all 10 wickets in hand. Or in the meantime, I would like, I'm just going into some of the players from the long system, their police team. Uh, none other than Rupes, the greatest uh, bowler, Rupes, how good the first match. How good the first match. How you, did you enjoy it? Yeah, I did. Actually, we won. So it was a good result for us. 
talk about your bowling excellent pace and then 50 click always how can you do that yeah i just try to try to do even the situation i try to bowl leg lanes if i get wicket that's fine if it's a dot ball that's the team so he's in the bowling a great player absolute athlete on the field uh, you can see the way you run the rupesh the man from Burnley itself as well uh, such a great candidate a great player i uh, wish you all the very best the second game is coming up as well all the very best thanks for your time thanks mate thank you that was rupes one of the quickest bowler here in Lancaster, the king of Lancaster, the man from Burnley. that was a crazy moment That was Rupesh. Now back to cricket now. Yet he has gained good, good. This was Birdie Bade. He's on there. Bowling, what can he do? Up against Dinesh. Good to start with. Dot ball. So his four overs will be very crucial. Short through the covers. There's a protection in the extra deep. So there will be another single edit for Dinesh Keshi, the captain himself, promoted himself up on the order, playing sensibly here, whereas the Uma was the other one who taking more risk. And the combination of these two going well. So open partnership has gone up to 43 runs. Desperately looking for wicket here. The couple of the Warriors would be good at field. At least way. I don't know how he blocked those balls. So it's been a different technique that he's manufacturing at the moment. To get the cut shot, but misses out completely. The beast was, as we mentioned earlier. Uh, excellent uh, last couple of years where he took most number of wickets. Short pull, will he go all the way? Protection there, couple of runs on the card, running between the wickets, always a great. And they took two runs. So that will help uh, the bit of a confidence building our rumors. He was taking a lot of dot balls in the last couple of overs. He's off and running there. Short into the offside, it's racing away for the boundary. Can that be stopped? Well, another couple of runs been taken, so that's a good for uh, get the cricket club. So, four coming up in the last two balls, and that's the end of the over number seven. Seven overs gone, uh, 47 for no loss. Get the cricket club, and they're chasing 143. <laughs> Spin bowling now. Wait, his magic because the team desperately needs the most moments, run out, or quick catch, or tight building. This is the momentum of the game. Short, lovely, good fielding as well, has been lovely driven down the three to the covers. Fielding by Chibi. Very good at field. One of the great athletes can dive ball on the left hand, right hand. Short this time to the cover. Nicely find the gap. The two for sure. It's going to be a very, very good throw to need it. But excellent guide that the always a gap finder finish. He's been a 360 degree player, so can find the gap anywhere. Short slot, there is a protection looking for run, bit of upfield from the mid wicket player. Runs being scored, so another top delivery. Played nicely, 49 runs, up to the 8 over. He's playing at 16. 
wide given. And that wide brings 50 run for the Yeti Cricket Club. Tickle fine. That will be a bit of a chase now. One run for sure. They're looking for extra one. Hasn't been timed really well. Tickle fine for a couple of runs. Dinesh Casey. He's an 18 of 20 delivery with a 1 4, and the other end, Uthar Mustafa, has 28 of 27 deliveries. A field, huge appeal, and it's been given. What a wicket, Dinesh can't believe it. He tried to swipe, misses completely. And that fire's given us out. So that's the first wicket fall down on the score of 50. 52 runs on the board. It's a nice, nice opening partnership. Handy inning of the Dinesh Casey comes to an end. In the meantime, I would like to thank you for all the sponsors again, starting uh, with the title of sponsor, Grace International Education, Mr. Raj Kiran. I don't know where he is hiding today. Haven't seen his face anywhere, but has been such a kind personality. Uh, providing the umbrella as well, where all the big guns are sitting under over there. The corporate partners are uh, Intag Migration, Moonlight, Nepalese Grocery, CAC College, the Church, Wallabies Education, AWTI. Now back on the field. 52 for one. Next battle in. Rana. Well, uh, just for reminder, Rana got a friendly hundred. Let's wait to start. To risky run. Oh, chance of running out. Bit of a fumble, otherwise, it would have been a run out. Lucky for them, so you know, damage done on this occasion. That's a tight signal. Talk about Rana has been a really destructive player. So let's wait and see what he can do for his team. Nice shot. That's the way we're talking about. This man can be dangerous. And the first ball, the intent was there now. It's been clear that he's going to go for it. Lovely way to start the opening the account. Rana, four of one delivery. String into the leg side. And having a strike rate of 400 to start with. 400, ladies and gentlemen, strike rate. <laughs> Giving himself a room up again. There's no man there. Will he get another four? Oh, my goodness, he's showing some so here. Back to back boundaries, still having a strike rate of 400. Can you believe it? Rana is stealing the saw here. The Cumberland Warriors need to be very, very keen. If they have to win, they have to keep a run floor and have to take wickets as well. With the help of that boundary, then our scoreboard now moves to 61. Definitely a player to watch out for Rana. Now change in field. Going with a different tactic, one sniff still there. That's no man to the third man. Full talks again, up in the air. Will this be the chance? Oops, just a false sort of the couple of players over there. So, definitely the strike rate has gone down now, but nine of three, 300 strike rate. 62 for one at the moment. They're going nicely, things going good. And the other end, we got the class of Uber as well.
Nice way of defend. Oh, it's going to be a single. It was straight away fielding there, but just missed on that occasion on the offside. Change in weather condition as well, a bit windy. I'd like to thank you for all the uh, title sponsors, the Grace International Education. Been doing really a good job, a great international education, Mr. Rajkiran. Thank you very much. But I have not seen Rajkiran entirely today. I don't know where it's been. In the meantime, that's another big shot. Will he clear this time? Yes, what a shot that is. Huge, humongous, magnificent. I don't know what to describe this shot. Goodness me. So two fours, as we already seen the runner, and now get a six. He's on the mood now. With that, the six. The run's been flowing 69 at the moment. Things are going really great for the Yeti Cricket Club. A bit of a worrying sign for the Carpenter Warriors at the moment. is playing on 15 or 4 deliveries with having 2, 4 and 1, 6 whereas Umar Mustafa is there since opening not out on 30 of 29 deliveries down the leg side wide and they're looking for extra run as well but not interested in this occasion so one extra yeah, I guess I 70 runs with the help of that wide Excellent bowling. Come back nicely after that wide down the left side. Sandy Potter, very, very good bowler. Economical wicket taker. Can he do some magic here? Well, he misses out. Well, he missed. That's too wide. It's a wide signal. Good bowling, excellent comeback now. As you, as I already mentioned, that Sandeep is a key bowler. The captain of the Warriors is 1.2 overs. Oh, again, he's completely bamboozed this time again. It's taking your time, maybe feeling a little bit of pressure from the other end. Goes for big shot, driven absolutely. There's a mid wicket there, so it's going to be another single. Rotation of the strikes is going to be key, and very important. Now, the danger man runner is on the crease at the batting, and now you can see a bit of a change in field. So they're putting more players onto the boundaries. Goes again, runner, every time, everybody is thinking it's a free hit. Just about another single, dancing down the ground. Definitely a candidate to watch out for. Well, there are a few awards, the highest wicket taker. You know, Moonlight Brochme is providing $25 gift card for every player who take highest number of wickets. How good is that? Nice to defend it, still looking for run, good fielding over there, but yep. Definitely save runs and putting more pressure to Umar again. And that will end up the over number 10 and playing the, the players were having a drinks break. In chase, replying going well, 1 for 73.
in uh, both the games so far has been nail biter. No one knows who's going to win. Not any one sided game so far. Warriors at the break, drinks breaks, they're fresh. When the cut the Warriors are looking to break the partnership and they're gonna take a few more wickets. Whereas the Yeti Cricket Club is going well. Nailing the show, hitting the boundaries, left especially in the last couple of overs, the way they scored. Bulk of the runs. Sixes, fours, batter, runner, very destructive. And it's a worrying sign for the Captain Warriors. If they have to win it, they have to keep on taking regular wickets. Sean, have a look at the aggression early on. Will this be the catching practice? Oh, what a grab that was. Excellent. And that's what they needed into the field to bring back the energy. Wasi Mohamed Khan, what a, what a cast that was. Excellent catch. And that's a big wicket as well. One out the man is missed. It's a big, big wicket for the opponents. He was going for big shots. But that process, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I mean, that's cost his wicket. But that's a big wicket for the opponents, the Captain the Warriors. Are back in the game now. This is, well, ladies and gentlemen, do not go anywhere. This will be a nail biting finish. <laughs> Now, the Gopal inching towards the crease, one of the destructive players of the Yeti Cricket Club. So, we have to wait and see what he can do today on the ground. His favorite venue as well, he scored most number of runs in this particular venue. <laughs> Seventy-three runs on the board, the loss of two wickets that brings Gopal on strike. He's facing first ball and he is up against Sudip Pandey, as we mentioned earlier. Oh, trying to go for nice cover drive. This is out completely as we mentioned already about the uh, Sudhi Pandey, how economically the ball he has been in the last couple of years. He is a wicket taker, he been in the last over, and so as expected. A good leave, actually. No one wants to leave the ball, as Gopal is very innovative. He can create some magic fun in the ground as well. Short, so finding the gaps, run, so open his account, so he's up and running now. Left hand, right hand combination now. Always a headache if you've got a light right hand, left hand.
aiming a seconder very nicely here. We are all gearing up for exceptional finish here on the end. 74 runs on the board. Nicely played down the leg shot there, score leg there. Just about a single up of a fumble for the wicket keeper, but not too much damage. We're done, so one run added into the total. The scoreboard moving up. Well, Rana was there, it was just a scoreboard was flying. Now it's just walking slowly and slowly. Nice shot, lovely, lovely driven to the covers. There's a protection, extra cover coming up to change it. Will that be the couple of runs scored? As we mentioned, Gopal's a classical player. Can hit the ball everywhere, not just on the off, leg side as well. Couple of runs added into the total, end of the 11 over. Get the cricket club a 2-77. Nine overs remaining, They're chasing 143. It's a handy contribution from Sundar Kondel on the first inning. Passing off. Someone from the Yeti Cricket Club had to step up if they have to win. They're going so good. So far, so good for them. Nine overs to go. This was where they were on to the attack. He's two overs, 22 runs, but no any wicket. Uh, he is a wicket taker. Sure, that's up in the air. Will be the catching practice. No, only the expectators over there, but that's a massive six. Over long off. What a fantastic hit that was. And everyone are excited about the distance. Well, ladies and gentlemen, 88 meters. It was 88 meters six. People are maybe thinking how the people are going to chance. Well, it is a robustic major about the sixes. We have a crowd from the sky as well. People are watching the game, not just only from the ground, from the sky as well. Is the plane passes from there? People are watching us. Six definitely held two for 83, the scoreboard. And Umar is playing a handy inning here, 38 of 36 deliveries. Well, we have a bit of a chit chat. Gopal probably saying, hang on, stay there. We're going to win it. I'd like to thank you for the other man and fire, Vivek Sadai, who have been there since morning, doing a great job. What an easy job of doing and firing the whole day under the heat. It was wind as well, but heat's obviously not just from the weather, heat from the players, the pressure created into the center. It's always a hard job of doing and firing. Thank you, Vivek Sadai, for being there and doing an official umpire for today. On the leg side, wide given now. They're a bit of sloppy here. They need to get active now. Couple of wickets, and any magic on the field can change the momentum of the game. Try to go cut shot. That's what he was trying to do in the last over as well. It's misses out and completely trying to find the cap at the upside. That's straight to the ball himself. So, a couple of dot balls for Bishwas. It's 2.3 overs, 29 runs. Appeal, huge appeal, huge appeal. Still, they appealing, but.
shot. They're looking for runs. There's a finding a gap between the two players into the offside. So another run is added into the total. Ladies and gentlemen, if you wanted to watch what's going on, the exotic lane on the YouTube channels, the telecasting, the uh, whole game, what's going into the middle. Thank you very much for that one. In the meantime, it's a bit of a floppy feeling there. So it's a couple of runs. They're looking for two. Chance of run over quick. Oh. I've been a very close, but there's still a couple of runs here. Two runs added into the total, and that's the end of the... 12th overs done, 87 2. Just mentioning about the uh, YouTube channel, Exotic Land, providing all the live telecasts where you can see what's happening into the uh, grounds from your home as well. So you just go to the YouTube channel, type Exotic Land, subscribe their channel, doing a great job. Uh, not just only about this match, throughout the whole tournament and on the future time as well. Short again, well, there is the fielder. It's going to be a single run for sure. Still anybody's game. Um, as we can see, more colors and players are warming up. They're waiting for their game as well. Right after this one, there's another game coming up. Gorka Legend up against a home team. Manchester Netflix cricket team. Short, nicely timed that one's looking for two. Running between the wickets, always important. Oh, great fielding though. Really good effort to pull the ball back. Game is nicely saving now here. We are inching for a great finish. 89, 89 runs in the board the last two wicket change in field they're putting one field extra onto the offside so protecting uh, to get that single down the track this time and waves flies over will it go all the way and he races away toward the boundary cushion before magnificent shot bit of a skill on that occasion 93 and he is batting on 44 or 42 delivery. Umar Mustafa is nailing the story for CEO here. Well, handy player, handy contribution, excellent show. And he was there from opening. That's a bit of interesting skills. Well, it's not much happened in that delivery where Uma were targeting to go on dancing down the ground again. Short slip up, just an up and over. Will this be a little four? Right, I'm going to short. He's definitely feeling the show. Just over this square leg fielder. And he is batting on 48 of 43 deliveries. Uma Mustafa. Two run away from his half century. 97 runs on the board. Sure, there is no man there. Will he able to get that ball? Or will this be the third boundary of the over? Yes, 50 up. 50 up for Umar. What a fantastic look. When the team needed, he definitely stepped up today. And as you can see, a lot of crowds from the dugout, appreciation there. Handy knock, it's a great knock. And that will help the scoreboard moving. 101 runs on the board now, 100 up, 50 up for Uma, 100 up for the team. forty-three was the target. Swept and man there. Will he gonna get there? He there will collect the ball. Single headed into the total. And that will help the scoreboard keep moving. 102. 
13 organs have been completed. And uh, what a match to finding any from the Umar. He misses out on the last occasion when they play Hobart yesterday, but he is cashing in here today, making the most of the opportunities at the top of the order. Good partnership between him and the captain. And now Gopal is suddenly stepping up, stepping up. We'll have to wait and see what he can do today. Bossy but can't on to the attack now. Next to finding the gap. There's gap findings are really key to watch out. They took two runs, they're still waiting. One fire signal had to wait. Two runs set it into the total nicely. He always a gap finder, this man. Not just only on the leg side, very handy player on the offside. Can manufacture those sorts. Oh, look at that shot, but straight to the fielder. He can't believe it. He cannot believe it this time. Sure, my goodness, that's a wrap. It's been really hit hard. Have to wait for Empire Signal. Has it gone all the way? And it's a six, it is a flat six. Lovely, lovely timing. What a great connection of the bat and the ball. Well, that six has gone over 87 meters, ladies and gentlemen, 87 meter six. So people are complaining about how the six has been calculated. It's all about robustic measure. So no complaint on that one. Back to cricket. Oh, look at the swans. So he just tried to play the leg side. No, no runs. More runs. 110 runs on the board is the papers are flying everywhere. <laughs> Thanks for going on that try. The handy contribution about the collecting the papers from the ground. Lovely shot. Wow, what a great feeling. Saved it. He certainly saved that boundary. He's batting on 61 of 50, five fours and three monster sixes. So that is quite a handy contribution. Yes, there's a fielder there, but still finding the gaps, looking for a couple of runs. Gopal is already on, but no Umar, so hang on, no, we're not going to get a tight signal, so that's... Uh, Another run added into the total. That will end up the over number 14. Two for 111. Lovely shot, so tickle for a single. And it's a drop out on strike now. Umar's playing a handy knock, two for 112, chasing 143. Be a handy contribution. Scott is still there, batting on six of six deliveries. <laughs> As we're gearing up for the last six overs, anyone can win the match. Any magic moment, run outs will do. Shot! Lovely shot! 
in the lakeside area, no one there. So that's going to be the four. And this time it's not Umar, it's a Gopal. Fantastic show from him as well. He's inching over there. With the help of that four, the scoreboard now two for 116. Gopal's strike rate has gone over 100. Now 10 of 7. Try to go for lovely cover drive this time. Misses out. He does play that the horizontal bat sort of spell sometimes. Remember, there's one more game left after this. Shot lovely driven to the covers. There's a protection, deep extra cover. He's collecting the ball, so it's going to be another single run aided. Into the total now moves to 117. The inching closer to the target. What a turnaround from Yeti Cricket Club. They lost by a huge amount of 120 runs yesterday. And come back here. It's not an easy touch to pack bounce. And the way they bounce back is something amazing and nice to see. Wait, look at the innovation on the technique. No one there. There's going to be a deep field that will be chasing the ball. Outfield is not that great. Manages to squat, but on that process, they still have a couple of runs. And this man, Umar, now playing on the field. Absolutely playing against the field at the moment now. 65 of 53. Remember, there are a few gift cards to be given. Uh, Moonlight Grocery is providing a gift card of $25 voucher to the uh, highest wicket taker. So something to watch out for. How excited you are for that. So, very excited, very excited. How's your travel been traveling from Thailand to here and watching the game all day? Is it the fun? It is fun, definitely. That's why we came here all the way from the lot. What are you going to say on this turnaround from Yeti Cricket Club that I lost his game with a massive 120 run and then come back and bounce back nicely on their pitch to the victory? Yeah, that's simple. Uh, you know, the sports fans are always. If they lost one game, they don't play. So anything can happen with the cricket. The game is hasn't been finished here. Any wickets, a close call, run outs will change the momentum. How we believe on you think about this? It's it's a cricket, it can be happen anything else. We never can predict. Yeah, that's right. Thank you for your time and thank you for your presence as well. Back into the game now. Gopal on strike. Pulled it nicely or oh, just over the mid wicket fielder. It's going to be another single deep mid wicket over there. Fumble hard there. Will it be the four? I have to wait the Empire signal for this occasion. A couple of runs, Aiden. So, Compact is absolutely on charge now. 121 runs on the boards where Gopal is playing 13. Full toss, hammer down the leg side. Will it go all the way? Yes, it does. That's in the final shot. You cannot bowl full toss onto the leg side. Well, with the help of that six, the scoreboard now moves to 227. Six for him as well, 19 of 11. So finally, Gopal is in action. The 16 runs required. They got plenty of overs to get there. In the Warriors need to be very active. Anything can happen to the game of cricket. A catches, a run out can change the momentum. The game hasn't been finished yet. The belief has to be there. And they can do it. Sean, up in the air, just fall over. 
it's going to be a little single. So there, where it says create it, as I'm able to take it. Single added into the total. Now the total moves to 128. The Gorkha Legend players are waiting to wave their wings. Cheeky there, wow, what a great that was. It's not going to go for four. How many runs will they take? It's the only question. But they settle for two. Two runs headed into the total, so that will help the scoreboard moving to 130, and they requiring another 13 runs. Solid in defense. Short catch up in the air. Hundred and thirty two runs on the board, the loss of two wicket, the inching very closer to the victory here. Eleven runs required. Gopal is going to go big short. He misses out completely on this occasion. Probably shot this occasion. No one there. Can he stop at the boundary? Well, that hasn't been hidden really hard, so another single added into the total. Lovely shot. That's going to go for four. Now, is it playing against the field now? So, up to the end of 17 overs, 137 run on the board. So, they require another six run from the three overs. In the meantime, uh, can we have your attendance here, Mr. Raj Kiran? Uh, the title is sponsor of the Grace International Education. Title is sponsor of the tournament, Grace. 
Mr. Ratz, can you how you feeling? I know you want to win again. They required another six runs. Five more to go. So can Gopal finish the things with a six here? Short, lovely short. There's a fielder there, so and the long off. So we're going to be a single. 138 on the board. The loss of two wicket. We already got the toss report from the next match happening in the same venue. Again, the Gorkhan Legends up against a Launceston Nepalese Cricket Club. It's going to be a single, so the toss won by Gorkhan Legends, and they will decide it to bat first. Another four runs required to get the first victory the way they lost the last game and they held the bounce back. Definitely, they must be proud of themselves. That's, a, that's probably the finishing shot. Will it go all the way? Yes, it does. Magnificent six to finish the inning. And you can see the aggression uh, in the Gopal faces. He's pumped up. He's over the moon at the moment. And congratulations to Yeti Cricket Club. They finally managed to get a victory.